Are you ready? I'm ready! Right. <laughs> hey, hey, everybody. I'm Jeff Pollard at solarpowerthepeople.org and Jeff Pollard 11 on Instagram. I am with Margaret Seeley. I believe she's a sea witch, or maybe that's just the name of it. But <laughs> can you tell us what Sea Witches is all about, please? You bet. Sea Witches is a small magazine publication. Um, that features voices from diverse perspectives. Right. Um, it's a zine for water people. So, I mean, I'm a surfer, so there's tons of surfing in it, but um, it's got stories from like all walks of life. It's pretty exciting. Awesome, awesome. It sounds like you have a few things also. Can you tell us, these are just fun items that people can pick up to show their love or? Yeah, okay. so uh, I, uh, these are probably the most fun to talk about. So uh, these are natural dyes that I've made from plants. Um, this is avocado pit, and it's like this pink. And then this is uh, made from oxalis flowers, and it's yellow. And this is the dye that I use to dye all of the covers for this issue. Oh, cool. Yeah, so um, each cover is handmade. Um, I make the, I forage for the plants, and then I make the dye, and then I dip the parent sheets in the dye. I dry it, I cut it down, and then I letter press print um, every cover. Oh, wow. And each issue has an artist in residence. So this is Natalie Hemingway. She's in Wales. She's our first international um, artist. And this is Christine Blanco, and she is in Oakland. So when you look at a pamphlet or an article, you're supporting actually love and, and art. You know what I mean? Like just in the in the pamphlet itself, in the magazine itself. You know that's that's really cool. So how did this come to be? Like, did you just want to have a, a space? Like, where, where did this like whole world come from? And how long ago? What's the history of this? That's a great question. I'll try to keep it short. Uh, so I I entered into this space in 2013. I was asked to curate a panel discussion for a college in San Francisco and I pitched a, a, an evening with four women in the surf industry All right. and they said yes All right. and it was a two-hour talk and the room was packed like standing room only um, and then afterwards tons of people reached out and said when's the next conversation like I want resources I'm a surfer and I'm about to have like gender reassignment surgery like can you point me to some resources so it was it was a huge range of people and I, and I just was like there's a need for this yeah. so our next event was a fundraiser for skate like a girl I love them and we uh, showed a couple of um, all women skate films at my friend's face. Um, and then I also helped premiere an all women's Japanese skate film here in the US. Um, <laughs> That's awesome. And then we've had like shown surf films, um, did a fundraiser for the Rel Sun Educational Fund. And then in fast forward from 2013 to 2015, um, I said, you know what, I'm a writer um, by trade. And so I was like, we should make a magazine. I think that would be really rad. And um, the community totally showed up, yeah. submitted their art, and their stories and here we are today awesome that is awesome i dig it and what are like you know i know you mentioned that you know it's like a lot of water surfing a lot of water a lot of love what are like some messages that people can like look to what what is it when they pick up a magazine like what are some fine details chapters or whatnot strong messages what are what are the, the things that i kind of want to repeat it you know back what is it you're sending out to the, to the public on the loud streets of sunset right now we're on sunset <laughs> boulevard you're gonna be hearing some noises so a lot, some... <laughs> a lot of audio love it um what sorry what's the well like just like part like the, the messages you're, you're conveying you, you, you want this to be a safe space i just kind of want to emphasize and repeat all the messages you're trying to like convey yeah so. Yeah, so I think if you read an issue of Sea Witches, I hope that you feel or think differently. Um, I don't, I'm not striving to make something that everybody loves, um, but I am striving to make something that makes people feel things. Um, when I read back to old issues, like, 
some of the stories are poems. I'm like literally laughing my ass off. And then um, some of the stories, like I still to this day get choked up and yeah. just feel, um, I just, people are so honest um, and brave with their stories and their perspectives. And um, I think it's just a full range and um, it's, it's, it's inclusive. It's very inclusive. So it's a lot of the stories that you won't read about in like Surfer Magazine or, you know, some of the more mainstream publications. So That's awesome. A little, that, that's beautiful. And I believe, okay, so if I have it correctly, she's like on a trip right now on her, her own like kind of endless summer in the California <laughs> coast, right? That is so, a great way of putting it. <laughs> so it's like you're, you're San Francisco based, correct? Correct. And yes. then she found herself way in Los Angeles. So that's awesome. <laughs> and you got the, the journey there and it's beautiful. So please check out Sea Witches. That's where you can find her. And Margaret right here. Sounds like a great thing. Enjoy the reads. Follow, find her, all that jazz. Thank you for having us. This is so rad. Thanks for having to chat with me. Can we uh, end it with a little surfer jog on it? <laughs>